Hello! Good evening? Af good afternoon? Good morning? Whatever the time is, wherever you are. My name is Nina Niskanen and this is my channel of making all of my own clothes and sometimes other things besides. But today we are going to try something different. So as you may have noticed, this week's topic is making a more or less, probably probably more, uh, the uh, cashmere auburn blazer. So this is the last part of my uh, three-piece suit series, which is awesome and great. And as you can tell, I have I am getting over a bit of a cold, so my voice is what it is. Uh, the thing that makes this video different is that it's going to be filmed over the course of, I think, three and a half months, something like that. So you are going to see a lot of me in different points uh, throughout the fall and the beginning of winter even. So, let me explain. Uh, I am going to be attending a uh, class at my local adult education center. I think that in Finnish it's Tuevain Opisto, in Swedish it's Ar... Uh, I don't actually know what it's in what it is in English, uh, Swedish, because we just call it Arbis. Um, anyway, um, uh, basically, uh, direct translation would be working people's um, Lyceum? No, that's not... no. Anyway, Adult ed Education Center. Let's go with that. So, um... <sighs> Sorry, my my sewing room is a complete mess and everywhere I touch or or move or look, it's it's a mess because right now as I start filming this video, I'm also in the middle of filming the York, um, York, uh, apron video that came out, well, it's gonna come out this Thursday. Today is, uh, Tuesday the 30th of August. So it's go going to, that video is going to come out, uh, this Thursday. Um, and I'm also in the middle of because uh, I have long stretches of meetings today, so I don't necessarily need to be at my computer for all of them. So I'm cutting fabrics while I while I listen to these meetings because that way I don't wind up surfing surfing or playing games during the meetings because idle hands. Anyway, so my my entire sewing room is in disarray and it's taking my mind with it. <laughs> but it's an 11, well, it's, it's not an 11 week because there are, I think, two, two weeks where there are no, no, uh, lessons. But anyway, it's an 11 lesson, le uh, course on exactly what I'm going to do here, which is a lined jacket or blazer. Um, so I'm taking that class and I am making my... Uh, well, at least I'm going to be using the cashmere uh, uh, cashmere uh, blazer Cashmere. <laughs> so at least I'm going to be using the uh, 
cashmerette auburn blazer as the starting point of this jacket blazer whatever but i don't know how it's going to proceed from there we will see it's very exciting um I'm going to take the camera with me to the um, to the class tonight. I, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to film there. I don't know basically anything at this point. But we will see. We will see. Uh, the other things that I'm going to be taking with me is a stretch of muslin and my... Um, I've cut out the pattern pieces for size 28 uh, with the fu uh, full bicep sleeves and um, yeah, I am not sure what if any changes I'm going to make to, to this, but yeah, we will see. In the meanwhile, I will, I'm, I'm not sure what's going to happen because I don't know, I don't know anything at this point. I am Jon Snow. So, we will see. We will see. In any case, I will see you on the other side of something, I'm sure. Alright, it's been, I think, almost a month since I last updated you. Um, the cold that I had at the time was, frankly, very sticky. And as soon as I, I, um... <clears throat> had mostly gotten through that, my dog got sick and that's still happening, but anyway, um, I can't really film during the class. There, the, the setup is such that there's, there's no way to get an angle where, uh, I can provide privacy for the other students. So I'm not filming while I'm there, but, um, this is where we stand on the mock-up situation. So right here I let out a wedge of a, about a centimeter at, at the widest point, a centimeter and a half, about. Um, right here the instructor pinned out um, some excess for me. The uh, the, the sleeve is actually going to get fitted um, in its final form uh, so so these these are all going to go away um, and I think my um, my um, what is it called uh, uh, shoulder pad is a little a bit too small. Uh, I'm using these very tiny. Um, I um, fitted it in class with a much larger uh, shoulder pad and I think I like that one a lot better. So I am going to have to go out and buy one. And yeah. Um, Otherwise, uh, I think this is going to be a really good jacket. There's both on the center back seam and on the, the center side seams, there's, there's some measure of ease that was taken out to make it fit better uh, into my proportions instead of the uh, blocks proportions. The next order of business is to transfer all of these changes 
into the pattern pieces and then I start cutting out the actual pattern pieces. I still need to... Um, so what I'm going to do, uh, at least the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, use use fusible what is it uh fusible lining fusible fusible interfacing i'm going to use on both of the front pieces as soon as i've cut them out and then i need to and also obviously the um the um um <clears throat> collar pieces and all all of those good things um, I need to get myself a, um, a stiffer, like, a um, a canvas or something, a linen canvas probably to, um, sew into the, into the, um, lining so that I can add just a little bit of definition to the shoulder line here because I don't want this this thing happening and it's when I stand straight it doesn't happen but as soon as I sort of relax or let go or whatever uh, there's just a little bit of this thing happening so I'm going to add some um, some extra stiffness there with uh, some, some, some thing, words, hard. Anyway, um, yeah, so after I transfer the changes to the pattern pieces, I can start cutting out the actual, actual um, fabrics. Um, <clears throat> right now, um, I am still missing, uh, the, the lining, the, the stiffer lining, the, the pad stitching lining on, uh, for, for, for this purpose. And then I'm also missing the silk for the sleeves. I am going to be using some actual silk for the sleeves, I, I need to go buy that, and also the bigger um, shoulder pads. I have no idea what I'm going to use for buttons though, so I probably need to find some of those as well. I think I need two buttons, so that's, that's nice. Um, yeah, so far it's, uh, it's going actually really well. Um, I'm very happy with how this looked in the classroom with the bigger shoulder pads because shoulder pads are apparently a, a really a must. I am going to try to film... I'm probably going to have to do at least some of the cutting uh, while all of this is happening. Uh, uh, <laughs> while I'm at home because there are so many pieces that need to be cut and that means there's just a lot of a lot a, a, lo a lot a lot of cotton cutting to be done and I don't think that I'm going to be able to get all of it done in the classroom but uh especially since I was planning to transfer all of these changes to the pattern during this this week and weekend but that's not happening because my dog is sick and everything else takes a backseat to that but right now there's nothing for that I can do for him so here we are anyway um Yes, so 
this is indeed happening. It is going to be great. I, I am fully trusting of that. And um, yeah. I will go transfer stuff onto this jacket pattern pieces. Make sure I have all of the pattern pieces somewhere on my person when I go to the next uh, thing. Next class. Anyway, um, make sure I have all of those on hand and also all of my fabrics on hand to be cut. Yes, that sounds like a plan. Anyway, I will see you on the other side of all of the cutting. We have reached the stage in this jacket where I have um, my lining in three pieces. Uh, well, five pieces technically because sleeves. Um, so yes, uh, I have the back in one piece and it is very, ni very nice and pretty and ready to go. I have two front pieces. One of which is this one. Um, one of which is marked with a pocket placement. There it is. Can you see it? I hope so. And so yeah, I have just enough of this orange, orange, um, uh, what is it called? Bias tape that I can add it as the lips of the pocket. Now I just need to figure out uh, how big I need the pocket to be and then just make it happen, which is freaking scary, but it'll be fine. I hope. Um, um, yes, yes, uh, it is, it is coming along. I'm starting to panic slightly because it is right now. It is, uh, the 21st, 21st, I think of November and the last session of the class is on the 29th and I really want to make sure that I fit my jacket outer shell in class because uh, on the on the muslin that I made uh, there was some work that was needed for the uh, sleeves and making the sleeves shorter, I think, probably shorter. But uh, the teacher said that we should fit it um, on the actual thing with the actual uh, the actual thing with the actual shoulder pads. And um, I might have been conv convinced to do my own shoulder pads, which which is also really freaking terrifying. But uh, yes, so yes, here here we are. Um, <clears throat> tomorrow is a meeting, uh, a, a class. So um, I had planned on. Uh, having cut out the Oro Rosa um, travel bag pieces by today so that I could focus all of today's sewing on this project, but um, I have not. So, yeah. 
That's worrisome. Uh, <laughs> is it time to hyperventilate yet? Yes? No? Maybe? Anyway, uh, I'm going to try to get what I can done today and there's probably way too much to get done, but Woosha, or whatever it was that um, one of the bad boys did. I may or may not uh, show me putting together the um, outside, depending on whether I actually managed to get some of it done today, uh, or if it's going to go on until tomorrow. Uh, uh, during the class. We we will see. Um, probably I I might want to ask about the uh, the making my own shoulder pads tomorrow at class. So uh, yeah. This is the sound of me panicking. I have no idea how much of this process I've I've managed to document. Apparently this sort of bits and pieces here and there uh type of filming doesn't actually suit me. So, yeah, this has been an in interesting exper experiment, but I know that uh, I won't be doing this next year or for however long it takes. Um, I, I got into uh, a study program for home sewists that lasts for three years and I've been trying to figure out how to how to structure the videos for that and I might need to be doing them in Finnish in any case but I don't know we will see I have no idea but um, I am running out of daylight for today daylight it's been dark for uh, three hours, four hours by now? Winter in Finland, people. Winter in Finland is not a good time. Anyway, um, yes. I think I will see you on the other side and hopefully I will have something by then. We will see. All right, we have reached the weekend of trying to frantically get all of the things done at the same time. And it is scary AF, y'all. So, um, first order of business, I need to draft myself a... <clears throat> Uh, shoulder pad. Yes. That is indeed happening. So, uh, yes. I am drafting myself a, 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 a shoulder pad. Um, I have the Beast, aka the Oro Rosa travel bag. Over there, uh, it is waiting to be assembled into packs right now you'll you'll have seen this that part uh happen if you watched last the last video on this channel anyway but first uh order of business i need to do is i need to get the um the um the the um uh the shoulder pad 
drafted and once that's done I need to put the outer part together all of it during this weekend which is really freaking frightening uh, so I need to put that stuff together this weekend in order to be able to fit the sleeves on with help um, in the class next Tuesday which is the last time the class meets because I have been a bad student and I have not been making as much progress uh, this entire semester as I should have but I blame being ill, losing a dog, uh, all of that's that stuff. Uh, it it wasn't it it was it wasn't good. So um, yes, shoulder pad and then sew like a demon. I guess I've already pinned like basically all of it together. I just need to so 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 um except for the pocket the pocket the pockets are not they're not done they're not even remotely done but uh can't be helped I will yes uh, I will see you on the other side of <clears throat> the drafting the shoulder pad and then uh, I guess putting the front pieces together so that it is Uh, just one piece that I can start working the pocket on. I think that sounds like a plan. Yes. Anyway, um, actually, I'll see you on the other side of the pocket because there's a lot to get done. Okay, so uh, before I move on to the actual sewing part, I wanted to show you this. Uh, so this is the um, shoulder pad pattern that I made. Basically, I set the um, <clears throat> front and back panels, uh, pieces, pattern pieces together at the at the sewing line roughly it's it's not an exact science so uh, roughly at the sewing line and then I uh, brought the very top of the shoulder pad down by two centimeters which is eight uh, eight millimeters less than the um, uh, the seam allowance and that is about uh, looks like six eighths of an inch and then uh, I traced the the armhole at the at the whole armhole of, of the uh, two pieces together uh, so that the front of the shoulder pad is shorter and the back is longer. I'm 
not entirely sure why, but this is this is how the instructor instructed me to do this. Uh, so then once uh, that was done, I just sort of sort of fudged it so that the the highest top met with both the the front and the back sort of looking good ish then i cut out uh i'm <laughs> basically i'm using scraps scraps for these because you know anyway um <clears throat> i cut out the first pieces uh using that pattern then i cut uh and this is just the flannel that I used to, or the off off cuts or whatever of the flannel that I used to make my Muna and Broad Spinifex PJs. Then uh, I cut a second pair of the same size, but then before I did anything else, I uh, cut about two centimeters ish out from the from all around the the curved side then once that was done i basically cut out pieces of the bamboo uh in in a similar progression so that um i wound up with a and this is uh this is the bamboo batting that I had left over after I made my mom the quilt uh, sometime in the spring, I think, somewhere around there. So yeah, and I I I just used every every progressive piece as the model for the next layer, and then cut out about two two ish centimeters around the round round thing mostly because I honestly don't want to trace out this pattern then do the same to all of the pieces so yeah the next step in the process is to lay lay down uh, a layer of each of these and then top them with um, lay down a layer of each of those on top of one of these largest pieces and then once that's done uh, top that with the the second largest piece and then sort of stitch it all together so that it is good I suppose so so that it holds together and and preferably so that it is at least somewhat curved in its um, final shape so that's it hand sewing that was that was surprisingly scary for for all all how how uh, um, simple it is if you know what I mean anyway <clears throat> uh, the time is getting late and tomorrow even though it is a Saturday it's going to be a an early wake up so I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to gather my packages uh, shoulder pad packages take some thread and um, go do that and then once the packages are assembled to the point where they won't fall apart on me. I'm gonna go to bed. 
uh, my partner is playing, I think, Plague Tale. And that's, that's always fun to watch him play things while I do either knitting or hand sewing things. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. And then tomorrow I will sew all of the things. I will see you on the other side. So now I have functioning pockets. Whoa. Pockets. Um, the, uh, what is this? The, the flap, this thing. Uh, that is still, uh, at this point, not done. Uh, mostly because, uh, honestly, I, um, uh, the thing is that I need to, uh, hand sew the, the sides to the jacket and um, I don't have time for that right now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that until I need to uh, until I have uh, put in the sleeves um, I'm going to be doing this well out of order because the sleeves need uh, the the um, uh, instructions tell you to put together the collar before the sleeves but I don't think that I'm going to have time to get all the way there before I need to um, before I need to um, have this to the point where I have I, I'm able to fit the sleeves on so and I to reiterate I need to fit the sleeves on during Tuesday's class because I need help with that and um, that that's the last time I have so um, my um, ironing station is making noise um, ghosts or something uh, anyway so um, I have pockets my, so basically at this point my fronts 
are done until I need to sew on the uh, side seams. Oh, no, wait, they are not done. I need to add the, the, um, um, what is it? Weft interfacing? The, the interfa interfacing that is basically sewn on. I need to cut and add that to the sides. I need to look up some because the the so the pattern for for the for that interfacing piece is that it just it's basically a chest shield similar to the one that I have in the um come on now Uh, the, um, the trench coat, uh, similar to the ones that are on the trench coat, except that it's on the inside instead of the outside. I want it to be a little bit more extensive. Um, so I need to look up how... I should cut that and then I need to once the back is done as well I need to look up uh, something for that as well so um, so yes uh, that still needs to be done before I can uh, call the front done but uh, for now at least I'm moving on to the back pieces I've already sewn, uh, no, these are sleeves. I'm not sure where, where the back pieces are, but I have already sewn the side back pieces together. So, um, side back pieces to the back pieces. So right now, the next step in the process is to put together the vent, the the thing in the back. So that's that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to do the vent and the um, back, back so that it's all one piece. And then after that's done, I'm going to cut the, cut and put on the the non-fusible interfacing, whatever it's called. I can't remember. Why can't I remember? Anyway, it is somewhere around here and it's, it's going to be good. So I will see you on the other side of a finished back. And then once that's done, I can move on to putting the sleeves together. Well, first I need to, you know, do the shoulder seams and the and the side seams and then I can put the sleeves together. I am not going to be able to finish all of this tonight but I hope to at least have a finished back piece because then I would be able to do the sleeves tomorrow and then hopefully hopefully be able to uh, have the sleeves done enough in time for the class so that uh, I can get this done. Pray for me. I'll see you on the other side.
right, so the back is now finished entirely. Uh, I think I am going to, there's a suggestion in the pattern that uh, you may want to um, baste, hand baste this entire thing closed until the lining in it is in place and I think that is exactly what I'm going to do uh, to make sure that the, the lines and everything are nice. <clears throat> Beyond that, um, the next step in the process is to put the sleeves together. I have already sewn one seam uh, which was out of order because the pattern wants you to do the the uh, the vents first but the vents are exactly like on uh, on the back so that should not be a problem I don't think um, so yeah let's finish the sleeves and then if I have the time I'm going to move on to um, putting the collar on this thing and yeah I, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip the um, or I'm going to finish this thing this week and um, work on the the Oro Rosa travel bag for for the next video because this is almost done the Oro, Ro Oro Rosa thing uh, has not even been started so and looking at these sleeves I did not apparently fuse my fusible interfacing interfacing properly enough so I'm going to do that before moving on to the to the vents I need to press the vent stuff anyway so I might as well I will see you on the other side of a complete body I think um, yes sleeves and then putting the body pieces together and possibly adding the under collar on there as well if I have the time I'll see you tonight. Alright, so I have sleeves. I have sleeves. I wonder if you can see the... Uh, so I marked out uh, only two buttons, but button placements instead of three. Um, mostly because my buttons are a bit larger than, than the uh, pattern calls for. The pattern calls for uh, 12 millimeter to 15 millimeter and mine are 18 millimeter um, so I'm, I'm going to use the um, um, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to use two per sleeve but I am also going to <coughs> do those do the buttons um, later. <laughs> Essentially, um, right now all that's missing is to put the fronts together with the backs at the shoulders and the side seams and then I'm done for for now. Um, Basically, what I need to do is I need to 
I probably need also need to add the um, um, what is it called? The thing with the thing. The thing. Shoulder pads. I I I probably also need to add the shoulder pads. Um, but I'm not entirely sure what I need to do on that front because on the on the trench coat I set them about um, the um, seam allowance amount up from the sleeve and that's probably not the way maybe I don't I'm not sure so I think I need to ask about that tomorrow at the at class uh, before I set them in and then basically as long as I get the the um, shoulder seams and the side seams sewn tonight sewn and pressed tonight I am good for class tomorrow where I will be able to fit the sleeves in because I have the shoulder pads I have the sleeves I have everything so uh, we have um, some friends coming over tonight to meet the new puppy so I don't know how much I'll be able to do before before the um, friends get here but I am going to try to yes get the shoulder seams done and the the things but um, I'm also going to cut out and add this piece I'm just probably going to interline it um, at this point I may may uh, at the in the fullness of time and a lot of hand sewing um, wind up putting this more firmly to the chest area but um, I'm thinking that may or may not be feasible before class tomorrow so I'm I'm just going to sew the the parts that connect to the thing and then once that's done I can sew on the shoulder seams I can sew the side seams and I think after that I'm going to be pretty much pretty close to being done uh, at least in terms of what I can what what I need to get done before class tomorrow uh, I might try to get the color in uh, tonight as well uh, the under color under color I might try to get the under color in as well tonight so yeah and then if there's at all time at all I will move back to the um, to the lining and try to get that to the point where I can start attaching the lining to the to the um, main piece outside um, that means that I need anyway um, <sighs> shoulder seams side seams collar I've got 50 minutes I can do that shoulder seams side seams collar I'll see you on the other side <laughs>
so um, the top is pretty much as ready as I can get it on my own so uh, to later today I'm going to go to class and we will hopefully fit my sleeves and that will be great um, in the meanwhile I'm trying to finish my lining so that I can attach the lining and the the um, outside together. Um, I started by well, first of all, I marked out the place placement for the the chest pocket, basically by just sort of fitting fitting this thing on uh, the the left front on myself so that I can. Um, sort of figure out where I want the pocket to lie. That I did a while ago. And then today, earlier, I put in a piece of interfacing. This is the same interfacing that I used on the uh, on the top. The out, uh, front pieces. Then the next thing I did was I aligned uh, a piece of basically the lining fabric except that it's cut cut big enough to be the pocket and I cut it so that it's uh, or I, I, I placed it uh, where the whoops I placed it where the where I want uh, where I at the top of the um, inner piece of interfacing that I can feel through the through the through the layers. <laughs> then basically I just drew on uh, an opening for for it, making sure that it's big enough for my phone, and then. Um, I attached um, the the place. Um, I attached the piece in place uh, by uh, adding um, just these two um, needles. Needles. These two things. Um, I added these two at about roughly the halfway point of the opening and then the next thing I did was basically flip down the top and uh, put in the uh, same um, bias tape that I, ha I still have left a little bit of um, in order to get some lips on this thing. And then um, I did the same for the bottom, and then I I, I put them to uh, I I attached them so that they're they're secure enough to sew. Um, I made the mistake of um, putting the the bias tape in first so that it was the the fold was toward the middle uh, but that's not of course that's not the the way because uh, the fold needs to be towards the center when it's flipped so now I am ready to sew and then flip and then uh, do all of those things. So yes, I'm gonna sew and then I'm gonna press and then I'm gonna sew some more and then I'm gonna sew some more. <laughs> so basically my plan at this point is to sew according to the um, according to the lines, roughly according to the lines that you can see here. Um, then once that's done I need to cut it open and flip it inside and then press it, and once it's pressed and neat and ready to go, 
in those terms, I will top stitch around the opening. Um, around the opening that you can see here, and then uh, once that's done, I will sew the this end of the pocket to this end of the pocket, if it makes any sense. Yes? No? Anyway, um, that is the plan. I have just enough time to do it. And then hopefully after that's done, I'll be still able to get the, um, the lining shoulder seams and side seams done before I need to leave for the class. But we will see. Uh, in any case, it is now time to get sewing and I will see you on the other side of a finished lining. Or possibly while I'm fitting, fitting the um, sleeves on. Hopefully while I'm fitting the sleeves on. But we, we will see. Anyway. Well, that was kind of a disaster. Um, so what happened uh, was that the, um, I think, yes, the lower lip went all crooked, like all crooked. It, it was not pretty, let me tell you. Um, and uh, the other thing was that turning the, the, end around did not work out so well so i i cut this piece and then i had to uh take out the stitching on the sides so that i could turn turn the uh turn the lips around and that that was that was not a smart decision decision to do that that way at all so Probably, if you want to do this, uh, A, don't do it like I did. Um, I would probably, if I were doing this again, uh, I would probably add the bias tape only after I had put in um, the po put, uh, sewed and uh, turned the pocket and then add the, the bias tape separately. That might be smarter. I don't know, actually. Anyway, uh, now I'm just going to top stitch all around. And um, hopefully that's going to do it. And then I'm going to do the rest. So I'll see you on the other side of a finished lining. Or a together lining.
All right, so uh, I'm clearly not going to be done with this video on time. Um, it is currently Thursday. This video is supposed to come out today, and uh, <sighs> there's still a lot, so much to do. So uh, I did not manage to get footage of the of the fitting, uh, it was impossible to get, um, uh, just me in the picture, or at least I couldn't arrange it so. Um, so basically, uh, what we are going to do is we are going to scoop out, I don't know if you can see these markings, there's, so <laughs> my sewing room is currently in chaos. There's a swift here, uh, I think you can see it, um, because I need to wind quite a lot of yarn for knitting purposes. There's a small dog here, right here, <laughs> beneath, between me and the camera, because it is early morning, and frankly, this is the only time that I, <laughs> that I, uh, Manage. Uh, I have have the ability to film this today because life. Anyway, so uh, can you see those? There's um there's very faint chalk markings right here. So basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, steepen the Um, steepen the sleeve head by quite a lot and scoop out some from the armpit. Um, I've marked both of the both of the sleeves, but I need to um, <clears throat> sort of um, do the do the changes so that they're even on both. So I need to transfer the markings somehow and um, make them fit. Uh, that's gonna be fun. And um, on the other hand, on the uh, on the on the body of the of the thing. Oh, um, these you should be able to see a lot better. So those are just um, hand basted uh, lines showing me where the uh, changes need to be made. And this is the same for, for uh, as, as for the sleeves that I need to sort of... My darling, please don't eat the camera. So I need to transfer the markings. So we're taking taking the shoulder in a bit. So this is where it is on, on this shoulder. Can you see it? Yes. Uh, the shoulder in a bit, and because I have those shoulder pads that are going to raise it uh, a bit more as well, I need to take uh, some length out of the hey um out of the um, armpit as well to to make sure because i i do want a close fit in the armpit but i don't want it to be too close if you can see what i mean so that's going to be interesting so the shoulder is going to be um raised raised anyway um so i need to transfer those markings as well to the to the pattern and uh make sure that i am sort of evening out the differences cuz obviously the the hand basting is not accurate and the sleeves were slightly different while they were on. 
So, um, yeah, there's a, there's a lot to get done. So I, I am definitely not going to be able to get all of this done today. But what I can do is I can um, at least work as fast as I can. I mean, I managed quite a lot with the, uh, with the, um, uh, what is the word? With the Blanca flight suit. Um, yeah. So that's where we are. A lot of work still to be done, but it's going to look so good when I'm done. Like, y'all, it's gonna look like it was made for me. And and that's that's kind of amazing. A suit jacket that would that, that looks like it was just made for me. Mm. Anyway, um I am going to go get coffee. Then I probably need to do my work day. And then I'm going to get started on, on all of this that needs to be done. I will see you on the other side of set in sleeves and shoulder pads because that's going to be a lot. Anyway, I will see you on the other side. Okay, so I have a little helper here who is, because he's a black dog, was barely visible. Hold on. All right, that's, that's better. So, um... I figured that I would show you the results of my labors. So, um, <clears throat> ow. Uh, what I started out with was um, measuring the amount of, um, so, I can't remember if I said this, but um, on Tuesday, today's Thursday, so <laughs> this video is so very not coming out on time, but uh, that is fine. <laughs> that has been happening lately. So, um, I measured the amount of stuff that was going to come out uh, from the seams, uh, seam points, to, just to have some sort of reference point. And I think uh, the thing is that uh, all the all the where the side seams meet meet the meet the the seam uh, the center front or the center back uh, the side pieces where they meet they're they're just like straight but there's a lot being taken out of the shoulder and a lot being taken out of the out of the arm hole, uh, uh, armpit area although I am worried about the armpit area I, I need to I need to check that uh, when I get there so what I did was uh, I measured this distance and then I measured also measured this th distance I made a note of that distance on the pattern um, that this one is the original the first first marking where I marked the seam line of the um, of the change and then once I had marked the seam line situation at the at the uh, e uh, either the shoulder seam or the armpit seam side seam side seam shoulder seam or side seam. Uh, 
I marked that on all the pieces, so uh, shoulder line to the center front and center back pieces and the s uh, side seam to the side front and side back pieces. So once that was done, I also measured about how much down from the um, the seam, shoulder seam, um, the uh, the the line sort of curved to nothing. So this point right here. Uh, I measured that on both the center front and the center back piece. And then I sort of... Basically I had a look at the... Um, the side front and the side back pieces to estimate where in the uh, continuum of seam uh, <laughs> the the thing sort of went to nothing which was surprisingly easy on on those two I, I gotta admit because it was sort of it was very easy to tell so hold on so this is the side front piece you can see the the curve sort of goes to nothing at the the place where where the curve is the biggest and on the side back seam it sort of goes to nothing like right before the the um uh, curve hits the seam so now i have Oh, and then finally I measured what the the placement of the seam allowance from the original s s sewing sewing line seam line um, measurement. So that would be this second marker right here. And from the second marker I used a French curve to sort of try to get the curve somewhat correct. That's that's more or less it. So now I need to cut paper and then once I've cut paper I need to cut the fabric and I'm I'm worried about that. Let's let's say that. Because Woosha. So yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um I need to cut paper and I need to cut fabric. That's worrisome. Anyway, and I also need to do a similar thing to what I've done here to the pattern pieces for the sleeves. So that's fun. Anyway, that was going to be harder, I bet. But we will see. Anyway, I'm I'm going to get to doing and then once I've cut once I've cut the thing, it's time to put the sleeves on. Once I've cut away the seam allowance, it's time to put the sleeves on and on the sleeves I need to remove um two centimeters from the height all around. So I have my pattern piece here. So once I have um, 
re um, redone the the whole um, sleeve head once I have the shape correct uh, compared to once I have the shape correct uh, I will need to remove um, two centimeters all around so when the shape is correct I just take down two centimeters from all all over the the sleeve head sleeve sleeve curve I don't know uh, from both the the uh, outer sleeve and the inner sleeve and once that's done uh, I'll be done. Woo! So, yes. There's that. Um, I'm gonna get to it. Uh, I doubt that I'll be able to get the all of the changes done tonight. I probably won't cut fabric tonight. I will most likely only cut into paper tonight and then try to try to make this make sense somehow. Anyway, um, I'll see you on the other side with some set-in sleeves. And someday this thing will be done. Alright, so the outside is done, finally. Uh, it is way too late on a Saturday night and this video is definitely not coming out until probably tomorrow, possibly on Monday. Anyway, um, now I need to transfer my markings to the... Uh, the lining... Fa um, the lining um, thingamajig. Come on, what is the word? The lining pattern, my goodness. The lining pattern, finish putting, to, putting the lining together and then put the lining on to the outside and put them both together and then finish up the entire thing. Finally, it has been a work in the making. Anyway, uh, it is it is it is looking rather nice even if I do say so myself um, there is a pin that keeps poking me every time I move my arm but that's fine the fit is pretty nice the shoulder pads are not attached yet so that's a job for later tonight when my partner is probably playing plague tale still and I will just hand sew those suckers into place. But now lining changes and then finishing the lining and all that good stuff. 
I will see you on the other side of a finished lining to put everything together. All right, well, it's time to admit that this video won't be coming out today either. Today is Sunday and we are nowhere near, uh, nowhere near ready. So, uh, technically the jacket is one piece. Uh, it is attached by the collar. Uh, I mean, it's gonna be great. I, I <laughs> it's gonna be so good, but, uh, there's still a long way to go. So, uh, it is, as I said, it is currently attached by the collar. Uh, the collar needs to be pressed and I need to press the outside, um, hem seam allowance all the way through to its, uh, natural conclusion. And then after that, uh, attach the rest of the thing. Um, the collar, there's an understitching on the, on the uh, outside of the collar. There we go. Um, that's gonna be fun. But yeah, um, my iron is ready so it's time to press, press, press and then move on and get this monster finished and dealt with. I will see you on the other side of uh, attaching the front facings to the fronts and I believe uh, attaching the sleeves to each other and something. 
anyway, um, I'll see you on the other side of attaching the sleeves to each other and the fronts together and then we will see what what happens after that there is a long long way to go <clears throat> lots of hand sewing I'm seeing um, there's not much more to do except just do it so I think yeah I, I will see you when we're all all the way down to Actually, you know what? I will probably see you uh, when the coat is, uh, the jacket is done, because there's just no point in keeping this going longer. Anyway, uh, I, I hope, I hope I will get this video out on Monday, which is tomorrow, but we will see. For now, uh, I'll see you on the other side. So we are not quite done yet, but I wanted to share with you a step that uh, I'm not sure if it is in the instructions, but my teacher told me to do this once I was sort of done. Um, so the sleeves need to be actually sewn still, but for now, um, 
the uh, the sleeve ends, <laughs> the cuff area of the of the um, the lining and the outside need to be attached. Uh, but again, uh, this is something that my teacher told me to do and I think may or may not be on the pattern as well, but put it on uh, once everything is in place and check that the sleeves still do the sleevey thing that you can vogue in your new suit jacket if necessary. Um, mainly this is to make sure that A, you have the <laughs> Um, correct sleeves on both side and two to check that the um, sleeve when you so here I don't know if I can make this show up but uh, this is the lining and this is the outside so the lining is held on to the outside by safety pins at the moment well they're, they're like quilting safety pins. They're a little curved. It doesn't matter. Safety pins. So, uh, the lining and the, uh, actual outside of the jacket are held together by safety pins and, uh, that makes it easier to check that everything is in place and fits as it should and uh, isn't twisted that you can actually get your hands in once they are sewn and I think I think we're good we are pretty good just in general the pockets they are big there is a massive breast pocket right here. And yeah. All right, let's finish this. I will see you on the other side of sewn sleeve, cuffs, whatever. And um, um, button, actually I need to, uh, check where the button placement needs to be. Anyway, um, buttons, sewn buttons, button, button holes and buttons, and hopefully the button holes will not give me troubles this time. That would be nice. Anyway, um, I think we are very close to being done with this jacket. And I hope I can actually get some good, good photos of it once, once it's finished. Because um, looking at the viewfinder on my camera, it's it's not picking up right. <laughs> we will see. Uh, anyway, on to the sleeves and the buttonholes and buttons and all that good stuff. I'll see you on the other side. We are done. Um, it's Monday so the video is not coming out today because it is already 7 p.m. and it usually takes me a couple of hours to edit videos and I still need to take pictures of this get up. But it is done. It is beautiful. I am loving it. Um, Beep beep. My dog is lying in front of the door so I can't close it. And he got there 
just as I was putting on my jacket and before I managed to uh, close the door. But it is looking rather good. Well, I still need to open the vent. There's a the uh, the basting stitches to keep it closed while I was finishing it are still there, and I still I think I need to press the neck uh, the collar better and all that good st good stuff. But it's done. My suit is finally done. It is done. Just in time for finish Independence Day as well. So, um, yes, the project has been cashmere auburn jacket. Uh, there were a lot of modifications made. Uh, I added like two centimeters on both sides at the uh, princess seam. I think I took out a whole bunch of centimeters at the back here. Um, I took out a whole bunch of stuff at the shoulder. Um, and then I um, made the sleeve head much less shallow. There was a lot of stuff. I shortened the sleeves. But in general, I think it was all worth it because this, this jacket, this jacket, y'all, it suits me like a dream. I am very happy with it. It is, it looks good. It is hot as hell, literally and figuratively. And it is, I think, nice to finally have a suit of my very own and have it look like uh, it was actually made for me. So I think this is more or less it for this week. Um, yeah. Meet me next week finally for the uh, for the Oro Rosa travel bag. And that is happening but not at the rate that I would have preferred it to. In any case, if you've liked this video, please like, comment, subscribe, do all of the YouTube things. Follow me on Instagram to see the actual very nice pretty pictures of this and other projects. Uh, yeah. I'll see you, I'll hopefully see you within two weeks. <laughs>